Hello guys, this is Harika. Welcome back to my channel. So as a part of today's video, I'm going to talk about a challenge that was put forwarded by Vajrang. So you can check out the challenge in his LinkedIn page. Uh, so it is basically about the dependent drop down. So in order to give a more, uh, you know, knowledge on this challenge, let me just execute this workflow so that we can discuss further about what it is about in detail. So this is basically uh, a drop down like we have two drop downs here or, uh, you know, you can also check out like what is a challenge he, he have explained very clearly in his video. Um, yes. So in the first drop down, I'm having few values which are the states and in the second drop down, I would be having the districts which are related to the states. So as I haven't selected any state over here, when I go ahead and try to select a district, it has to show me no choose, no choices to choose from. And if I select any of the states and the data in the second drop down should vary based on the districts that are available in the selected state. So that's how it has to be. And in the similar way, if I go and change to Tamil Nadu, it has to show me the districts which are there in the Tamil Nadu. So it, it, it should be the case with all other mentioned districts, but for time being, I've just taken only the data for these two states and then I just submit it. That's it. And if you ask me how I have implemented and what is the logic behind it, let me just explain you. Before to that, um, it would be very easy to understand if you have any prior knowledge of drop down or panel binding with drop down. This is similar to that. If you haven't checked out or if you are new to this, you can check out those videos in my channel and uh, the playlist of UiPath forms. So let me just give you a brief about how I, how I have done all these things. So first of all, I'll go with the state drop down. In the state drop down, I have initially given a data with the label and the values. So this is the data I have given here. So we should be using this value. So copy this value and just understand what is this field key and the display name. We would be using it further. And then you would be coming to the district drop down. So here we have a district and then you should be giving the data of which district you wanted to give. You wanted to select and you wanted to display that districts of a particular state. So let's say these are the districts of Andhra Pradesh. I have copied the field key value of Andhra Pradesh and under condition, you have to mention it over here saying that this component, that means this drop down should display. I have given true. I want this drop down to display when this state is Andhra Pradesh. So you have to give the value that was selected given in the states drop down there. So that's all. And the same happens with respect to other drop downs as well. So you have to copy the value and has to give it here. And later, if you observe in the workflow, you if you don't select any of the states, that has to show you no choices to select from, right? So that how you would give the logic for that particular thing. So this condition would do that. So in this condition, I have given this component should display when the state is null. So you don't have any value for the state when you don't select anything. So this should display what this should display in the data. If you just observe the default value is no choices to choose from. So this is a condition that would serve the purpose of the first one when the no state is selected. I hope this is clear. Um, this is the first approach that strike my mind as soon as I listen or, you know, come up across the challenge that he have put forward. There can be many approaches as well. There can be better approaches There can be. We can do so many enhancements. So if you come up with any of the ideas, do let me know in the comment section. I'm happy to work and, you know, enhance the existing workflow. And I hope this is helpful. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And thank you. Have a great day. Bye.